Aldrin, and today we're going to take a look at Pure VPN. Pure VPN is a virtual private network service that keeps your online activity and information hidden. Pure VPN makes sure that your private information is not seen by unwanted eyes. And it was founded back in 2006 by GZ Systems and is based in Hong Kong. Pure VPN was also, ha also has a wide reaching network across 180 different countries, over 2,000 servers. So that's a lot of locations. <laughs> well, they have been uh, around for quite some time. So uh, today, we're going to take a look at some of its features and available plans. Then we're going to learn how to install and use the product and test to see just how pure it can be. So with that out of the way, let's get started. As always, of course, we're going to take a look at the website first. So let's go ahead and do that uh, by going to VPN or purevpn.com. So we can see here, um, they, they're they saying that they're, uh, they, they are the uh, world's fastest uh, VPN service and at the best price. So it's a huge claim. Um, they do have um, a lot of different uh, available uh, features as well for their product, uh, such as, um, well, they have the IPv6 leak protection and ad blocking. Um, and it also uh, protects up to five devices at once. And actually, um, if we can look here at the uh, multiple platforms, there's a multitude of platforms that it's available or compatible with. So you have a lot of choices and a lot, a lot of options. And you can protect a lot of the different um, uh, devices or uh, the, well, platforms, really. Uh, advanced features are also, uh, where is it? Um, I think it's not here. I would, we would have to go to the features, uh, which are, okay, there we go. Uh, so one of them is port forwarding. Uh, and of course, what we saw earlier, and there's port forwarding, and the other one that we saw earlier, which was split tunneling. Uh, so th those are pretty useful um, features in uh, uh, VPN. Uh, and uh, also, um, they have a business feature available for their service as well. Uh, let's go back to that. Um, I think, yes, there it is. So they have a business for VP business VPN as well. So if you're running a business or if you own a business, um, then you can definitely use this for that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at their prices. Uh, all right. So here we have, uh, actually it was uh, a bit different from earlier. I guess this, this is the annual billing. Um, they, they, both, they have both annual and uh, monthly billing. Uh, they both have different prices. So if you want to get billed per year instead of per month, you will, uh, well, not really per, yeah. So I guess per year you pay $300. <laughs> Uh, but that's five dollars per month, um, and you have the um, three ninety nine per month, um, and then they have you have the six ninety nine per month for uh, four hundred and nineteen dollars per year. Um, they also have the monthly billing one, which is uh, this was different earlier when I was checking it. Um, it, it was ten dollars and ninety five cents per month for the one month. But now it's eight dollars and forty-five cents um, per month for one month. Uh, the uh, which is this? Uh, yeah, the the three ninety-nine here per month. It doesn't really say. Um, this used to be. I think this is the the two years one. Um, or no, this is the two year one. This is the one year. Um, the three ninety-nine one. That used to be uh, three. 33 per month, it, um, they might have forgotten the dot here, uh, $300.99 per month, that's a, that's a bit much. Um, and then the one over here on the, this is the two-year plan, so this was the one-year plan uh, for $333, but now $399, um, I don't know why that went up. Um, and then th this is the two-year plan, which is um, $9.99 per month. Um, which was a 288 before for me. I um, don't know why it's changed. Uh, I haven't really done anything yet, but uh, it's kind of strange. Um, 
Also, they have a 31-day money-back guarantee as well. Uh, so there is that, uh, which is kind of strange. Normally, a 30-day money-back guarantee, but they have a 31-day money-back guarantee. So uh, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Uh, so before we go uh, do other things, let's take a look at what other people think about their product. So going to Trustpilot here, um, you can see most people do like this product um, overall. Uh, there are some people who are, of course, not that happy with their service. Um, and uh, let's take a look a little bit about the people who are uh, not so happy with this product. Uh, from what I read earlier, most of them um, are uh, server-based. Some people in their locations can't um, connect properly. Um, you saw earlier Switzerland and then some people in China. Um, e, uh, not EU, um, UAE, some of them had trouble. So there is, there is that issue. So we're going to see if that will that is the case for us. But that's, this is some of just the, the few uh, bad reviews for this product. But overall, though, uh, it's, it's got a good rating. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and actually try out this product uh, and uh, see, uh, see for ourselves if it's actually pretty slow. Uh, so let's go ahead and sign up first by going back to the... Um, yeah, let's go ahead to the... Uh, prices here and then we just pick one and we're just going to try the one month one uh, and uh, they have many different payment options available um, and uh, yeah including some things I've never heard of before uh, like most of these uh, and uh, then again I don't do coin uh, Bitcoin stuff uh, so it's uh, there's a lot of options so if you use any of those or and more apparently um, you can definitely do that, or if you want to use specific uh, payment walls, there's a lot of different options for that as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and sign up first, then we'll get back to you uh, and uh, we'll download the product together. So uh, the reason why the prices were different was I, I was actually in the business VPN one. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. So sorry about that. Uh, the uh, monthly savings. So um, there is the the ten dollars per month ten ten dollars and ninety five cents per month uh, this is the regular one not the business one I was confused about that earlier uh, and then they have the um, one year plan for 333 as I mentioned earlier and the two year plan for 288 per month and uh, as I was saying earlier the 31 day money back guarantee um, for this the this the regular um, uh, service not the business service so Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, try and uh, sign up for this one more time. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and download. We just go to the, actually, let's go back really quick. Um, so we have uh, the download page, which is the uh, where you're going to download uh, your VPN. Uh, we have many different choices here. For us, we're going to be doing the Windows 10 or Windows version. So we're, we're going to do that, and then we just click a download VPN, um, which already finished downloading for us, so uh, we're good to go. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, open it up. All right, so now we are here in the uh, select mode option, I guess. Uh, so we can do, well, mostly we're just going to be streaming, so I guess we can we can pick that. Um, and then you will be able to go to the uh, I'm guessing the server page. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, so we are, uh, they have a virtual one in Philippines. Um, so these are all the streaming ones. Um, so you can actually change the mode here depending on what you need. Let's go back and see the other modes. Um, oh, to use you guys. Yes, okay, thank you. Got it. Uh, so uh, select mode. So you can get stream, just internet freedom. You can um, just browse anywhere. Se uh, security privacy. So I mean, that's all um, pretty standard file sharing. So this is your uh, torrenting thing that I was talking about earlier, uh, and dedicated IP. So uh, it's like a more stable and, and I guess more legit seeming location. Um, 
and then uh, yeah, so streaming is what we're looking for here. We can also change the network type. We have uh, the automatic uh, automatic one. Um, they do say don't change it uh, unless you know what you're doing. Um, but uh, what we have here are non uh, NATU networks or NAT networks. So you can uh, choose between those. Um, and uh, for advanced options, you can also change your security options for the encryption. Um, you have the IPv6 leak protection, which is nice. Uh, and uh, let's see what else. So we have the kill switch available here uh, in case you need that. And you have the multi port as well. Um, so connect scans your um, scans for open ports to connect to, ch uh, to check for closed or throttle ports. So basically, make sure that your connections are um, more optimized. Uh, VPN hotspot. You can also share this uh, as well. Um, you, have, you have the port forwarding, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, makes you uh, access uh, gives you access to your device from uh, anywhere. Uh, and then you can check for updates, feedback, support ticket, invite people. You can even invite people to this service. I guess, I'm guessing you get free stuff <laughs> as well. Uh, but let's go back to uh, let's go to the so radio automatically connection launch on system startup auto connect uh, after launch disconnect at uh, exit launch browser default after connection ping servers on startup. So you have many different options available here. You can change it quite a lot, actually, um, but it, they're all pretty um, easy to, to find, which is very nice. Uh, you can also have the um, automatic, or you can do um, different kinds of protocols here. Um, I like that they have the different shields, depending on how strong or how weak that type of protocol is. So um, I think they might have thought I changed them something. Uh, let's go back. <laughs> Uh, and then we can also change the settings for the language. There's only a few, but these are a few of the most commonly used ones, um, depending on um, the region. So uh, we'll just stay in English. So yeah, let's go back to stream. Go back. Okay. So now we can choose uh, some of these. We can also actually choose popular websites. Um, uh, that are related to this um, for streaming. They have, uh, yeah, they have a lot of available. Oh, available ones. My voice is going away. <laughs> uh, let's see, Telemundo. Wow, really? Uh, they have TBS. Um, a lot of different uh, Netflix US. Okay, so we can actually do that. Let's let's go ahead and do that now. Actually, so um, of course it works in the Philippines. So. We're good there, but let's go ahead and uh, connect to Netflix um, through here. Uh, this is going to be the US one, so I'm guessing this is the only one that works. But let's go ahead and test other um, shows after uh, we try this one. So, which is the growth rate unblock? Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, I like that there's a lot of notifications here, so pretty user, user friendly. So. Uh, I do like that. Oops, I didn't mean to open another thing. Let's refresh this one. And let's try my benchmark um, for uh, Netflix, which is Lucifer. Because um, it's not available sometimes, so depending on the country. Uh, let's go ahead and test this out. Hopefully, we'll be able to, yeah. Oh, something went wrong. Streaming error. OK, so I guess we're not really unblocked here. Um, let's try a different server really quick. Um, disconnect. Um, let's try. Let's choose by location. Oops. Cancel. Oh no, what's happening? Okay. Let's 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 try that again. Uh, disconnect. Hmm? Keeps getting sending me to Netflix. Choose by location. Um, United States. Let's see. Uh, United States. Uh, actually, let's try. Let's try another server. Let's try Canada. Um, so I guess uh, it's blocked from there. 
Okay. All right, so we're now connected to Canada. Uh, let's try that one more time and see if we can actually watch an episode on Netflix. So, website's okay. Oh, okay. Um, so, so we're using an unblocker or proxy. So they, they know. <laughs> uh, let's try a different one. Um, let's see. UK, 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 UK. Uh, where's the UK? Let's type there. Oop, not Canada. Sorry. United Kingdom. The ping is actually looks pretty good. Um, let's let's try Netflix again. We'll see. Uh, it's been blocking um, Pure VPN from accessing the episodes. Uh, okay, let's try that one more time. Hopefully, it works. Um, oh, no, okay. <laughs> it knows, it knows, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and do a speed test really quick. So we're connected currently to the US server. Let's do, let's speed test more. Uh, let's actually do a speed test. <laughs> uh, starting with the US server. Um, and then we'll move on to Canada, then UK. And then back to Philippines. Um, and see, uh, actually without a uh, VPN, and see the difference between those um, connections. Upload speeds um, are actually similar to what we've been getting the past few um, uh, other uh, VPNs that we've been using. Um, it's pretty consistent with those. So, okay, not too bad. Speed is not too bad. Let's go ahead and try um, a different server here. Let's try uh, Canada. Canada. All right, so now let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see here. And we are connected. So let's do that one more time through Canada or to Canadian servers. Uh, now we're just looking for the optimal. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go ahead. We're gonna do two megabytes, megabits per second. Okay, it's about the same. Uh, slightly slower download speeds, but not too bad. Um, now let's try ahead and do UK server. I just want UK. Type type that in. Not Ukraine. Sorry. Um, United Kingdom. All right, now we're connecting to UK servers and see, uh, let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so we're now connected. Let's try that one more time and see how it goes. It's probably going to fall along the same lines, um, but it's not going above two. So the upload speed is slower, um, but the download speed is right in the middle between um, America and Canada. So that is our speed test. Uh, let's go back to change mode. So, um, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go over some of the pros and cons of this service. So there was definitely a fun installation process. I did like that one, although it did take a little bit uh, of time to actually uh, install the uh, the service. Um, they have uh, pretty competitive pricing. It's pretty cheap. Um, it's also, I mean, it's pretty easy to use, but you also have to go through quite a few things as well um, when you're going through the app. Um, and uh, they all they have all the major protocols and uh, industry standard encryption, uh, so you can definitely be uh, sure that you'll be safe there. Um, they also have a lot of servers from what I was able to see. You can also select specific type of server or use for this VPN that you want. Um, Torrenting is also allowed, as we can see here, the file sharing. Um, and uh, it's also unrestricted, supposedly. Um, and they have a 31-day 31 mon 31 money-back guarantee, which is nice. Um, we could not test Netflix because it Netflix knows that we're using a VPN, so there was that issue. Um, the speeds were actually pretty decent. It was a little bit slower than I had hoped, but um, it's okay. 
uh, it's, it's still pretty fast for at least in Philippine standards anyway. I don't know um, about other uh, locations, but for us, uh, above 10, uh, 10 megabits, megabytes, 10 megabits uh, per second is uh, still pretty fast. Um, uh, according to some of the reviews as well earlier, uh, customer service though is not that great at helping. Uh, I haven't really, uh, besides the Netflix issue, I haven't really ran, run into any other problems so far. So uh, I think we're okay there. It might be a uh, case by case um, uh, situation here, but uh, that's, that's for uh, specific people, I guess. Um, well, Pure VPN is definitely one of the oldest running VPN services around, um, but it still has a few surprising problems. Despite that, uh, the spans, the spans, the speeds tends to be a bit um, slow sometimes, but it's okay. Um, and uh, like I mentioned, apparently the customer service is not that great. Um, but they do have a cheap price, uh, and uh, they also have an easy. Uh, to use relatively easy uh, application that they have, uh, which is a plus. There's a lot, actually a lot of options on it as well. So um, you just click which one you want, and then you just run that, and then you're good to go. Um, also, they have the um, uh, the torrenting available. So if you want to torrent, uh, it's definitely good for that. Uh, so you can definitely uh, download all night long. Um, so that would be a great ch great choice for you. Um, for for this one, um, I would give Pure VPN a rating of three point five out of five, mostly because Netflix is not working for us anyway. Uh, maybe it's working for you, uh, who knows? But um, it's it was a little bit disappointing. <laughs> but they do I, I do like that you can choose um, the kind of servers that you want or the the mode, rather, that you want, um, depending on what you're trying to do online. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's all we have for today, guys. Hopefully, this video was of some help. Definitely check out some of our other videos on the channel. And uh, I've been Aldrin, and see you guys next time.